Hello everyone and welcome back to Let's Play Subnautica. My slow but steady journey back toward actually being healthy continues. I'm still gonna talk less than usual, just read the things I need to read, but I have a few goals today. First though, I really do want to get started on a habitat. I've done a bit of reading on how best to do that, so... Basically, we can just go ahead and build a basic tube with a hatch and some solar panels, to which I say, why not? Let's do it. Oh, and I do, apparently. Can I do it up top? Ish. Awesome. Alright, so let's put a hatch on there. Okay, I need two titanium. Did I put some in here? Oh yeah, I did. I needed quartz as well. Great. That's awesome. Achievement unlocked, settling in for the long haul. I would like a solar panel. I need two quartz and a copper ore. Let me see where, if anywhere, I have that. Um, there's a copper ore. See if I can find some quartz. If I need to go get more. Which, naturally, I'm happy to do. Bam, bam. Excellent. Restored all primary systems online. All primary systems online. Nice. Okay. Let's go inside. Welcome aboard, Captain. <laughs> this is great. Alright, so now we can do some wall mounted lockers, which are going to help a lot. I can also do a fabricator. Let me go grab a table coral sample. Where did I put those? Let me get all my shit. This is going to be much better. <laughs> then I can build on this as needed. Okay. That'll do for now.
Okay. I think I'm gonna be pleased with this. No, 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 no. <coughs> I just want you to put shit in the locker. Not everything. Okay, let's get back my scanner, my knife, my repair tool, my builder, my flashlight. I'm gonna hotkey the builder to three and the flashlight to four. That's very good. Okay, nice. Alright, so I should be able to keep all my shit in here. I can swim back up here if that fabricator runs out of power if I need a med kit. Which means I don't need to prioritize building anything else, at least for now. Perfect. Alright. So yeah, you hold on to all that. That is perfect. Okay. Let's drink a filtered water. We got a base. We have the start of a base. Let's get some water and some food. Nice, okay. stuff. Okay. We need to hunt for pieces of the mobile vehicle bay next. Which is just a whole new set of blueprints. Let's get some air, because there's some stuff to scan down here. And I need to take just a second. And I apologize for this as well. There we 
we go. What is this? Non-functional sample analyzer. What on earth is that? I don't know, we're gonna have to check it out. Fluid analyzer. Trash can. New blueprint, nice. Beacon fragment. Man. Is that everything for this one? Maybe not. On the other hand, maybe. It's just hard to say. Looks like there's more, possibly, over here. It's a big ass salt deposit. Mm, biter. Well, that doesn't sound pleasant. All right. What is that? Whatever that is looks handy. Sea moth fragment. Oh, but I already have the sea moth blueprint. Bioreactor. Scanner room. Integrating new PDA data. Well, this is new stuff. That's good. I'll get some air and see what else is down here. Reef bags. 
They're unsettling, but they're fine. Skinner room. Two out of three. That's just metal salvage. It's like very willing. One hundred meters. Oxygen efficiency decreased. Wow, there's a whole, like, fleet of reef packs. Look at this. Like, I'm not completely convinced that I don't actually have to worry about these things. I need some air. Let's go home a minute. Catch my breath, try and settle down. all that titanium I found. Fluid analyzer. Sample analyzer. Wonder what those are for. Alright, let's look at what I found. <coughs> I have a blueprint for a trash can. Hooray. Permanently deconstruct unwanted items and safely release their constituent atoms into the atmosphere. That actually seems useful. Biter. Vicious pack hunting predator. 94% muscle, 4% connective tissue, 2% brain. Indiscriminate when hungry, almost always hungry. 1. Specialized olfactory antenna. Employed in detection of bodily fluids in the water at impressive range. 2. Secondary pair of eyes, likely dedicated to detecting the peripheral movement of larger predators and hungry members of its own species. 3. Overdeveloped tail fin, favors outpacing and outnumbering their prey over individual maneuverability. Calculations suggest creatures up to 100 times the biter's body weight could succumb to a focused assault by a pack of 10. Assessment. Avoid packs. Try not to bleed. Nice. Blueprints. Habitat installations, scanner room. This advanced habitat module can transform a small outpost into a burgeoning science and exploration station. A 3D display in the center of the room stores local topographical data. System can scan for and pinpoint particular materials. Remotely controlled drones scan the area up to 500 meters in range. Wall-mounted camera feeds allow for live control of scouting drones. Upgrade console may be used to enhance the module's functions. Power. Bioreactor. On planets where organic matter is plentiful but sunlight is not, a reliable bioreactor will frequently prove the most efficient power solution. May be installed in any multi-purpose habitat room. Chemically composts organic materials, converting them into energy over time. Accepts all plant matter, from seeds and spores to moldy fruits and vegetables. Can also process animal matter, fat, muscle, eggs, etc., and some organic waste products. Energy production is proportionate to the calories in the organic matter. 
bioreactor totally organic. All right. So with that, I need some food and some water. And I'm going to save and you are going to see a jump cut. I'll be right back. All right, lunch is had. We're back to work. Stalker tooth. New blueprint acquired. All right, let's look around down here. I haven't spent nearly as much time in the kelp forest as I should have. Plenty of sandstone here, that's nice. Get some air. <coughs> Check on things again. And see what else we can find. This looks interesting. Creature egg. Mobile vehicle bay fragment. There we go. We'll need two more. Huzzah! And there's a wreck over here. Nice. Way to breach, buddy. Vending machine. New blueprint acquired. Alright. I'm not super interested in trying to look around at night. I'm gonna head back to base for now.
Okay. Vending machine. Pretty basic, I guess. What else do we have? Enameled glass. Glass hardened using a natural substrate. Stalker tooth. Glass. Stalker teeth. Extended analysis of acquired dental samples has been completed. Samples matched to species designated stalker. Stalker teeth exhibit extraordinary lightness and strength and contain only trace amounts of calcium. The edges show signs of wear and are studded with metal flakes, providing evidence that the stalkers chew on metal deposits in order to sharpen their teeth. Assessment. Applications as a natural substrate in enameled glass fabrication. Nice. I'm going to take a dose of Dayquil right quick, right here on camera. Excuse me. <sighs> There's a version of me that took shots of liquor on camera. I don't miss that guy. This feels a little more productive, though. All right. Well, there it is. I'm sure I am going to need enameled glass at some point. For now, though, let's put away the stalker tooth. Let's stick the critter egg in there. Okay. How much nighttime we got left? Reckon. I can't see shit. Ooh, there's a second moon. I didn't know that either. Can I deconstruct this? Is there any reason to? No, I don't think so. They getting anything on the radio I need to worry about? Whoa. I fling myself so far away. Nope, things seem good in here. Alright. I'm kinda just killing time till sunrise, but... Maybe I can go look around. Mobile vehicle bay fragment. That's two. How delightful. Nice, there we go. New blueprint synthesized. Acquired. Mobile vehicle bay. That's what we need. And the sun's coming up. How perfect. Okay, let's get in my base, such as it is. <coughs> Excuse me. Okay, so mobile vehicle bay. What do I need? 
Titanium ingot, lubricant power cell, fabricates vehicles from raw materials. Alright, so, I need a titanium ingot. It's a deployable. For the ingot, I need... I need ten titanium. Simple enough. One, two... Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, then I need lubricant and a power cell. Lubricant is pretty easy, I just need a creep vine seed cluster. And go get one of those right quick. Oh wow. These things are mobile. Got downright close. Creepvine seeds have their own databank entry. I thought they might. Mature creep vine plants that have survived the predation of small herbivores produce these bioluminescent seed clusters, which may be knocked loose by currents or consumed and later deposited by predators. The embryo is surrounded by a thick oil and silicone layer, which would disperse into the ground as the outer skin deteriorated. This may provide the seedling with the nutrients it needs to survive the low light conditions on the seabed. Assessment Vital Alien Resource Construction Applications. All right. So, let's drink a water. Let's make a lubricant. And the last thing I need is a power cell. Two batteries and silicone rubber. Okay. So for a battery, I need two acid mushrooms and copper ore. All right. So I need four acid mushrooms. Shouldn't be too hard to find. And then for silicone rubber, it's... I need another creepvine seed cluster. Easy peasy. Alright, let's go. This is pretty great. Alright, so. Silicone rubber. Two batteries. <coughs> Excuse me. A power cell. And a mobile vehicle bay. Very nice. I got one rubber to stash. Now this is interesting. How do I actually use my bay? Release vehicle bay. Okay, sure. I'll put it on three, I guess.
There we go. Oh, nice. Okay. And if I want to use it, all right, the sea moth, I need a titanium ingot, lubricant, a power cell, lead, and two glass. All right. Two glass, lubricant, lead, power cell, titanium ingot. All right, there we go. Can I pack it up? I can. Good. Okay, that's fascinating. All right, so first I need another titanium ingot. I also need lead. Go ahead and grab that. 10 titanium. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. What else was it? 2 glass. Two glass, power cell, lubricant, lead. Alright, well, I know I need a seed cluster to get lubricant, so I'll go ahead and go grab that. I need four more acid mushrooms. I already have silicon rubber. And I have a radio message coming in. Fascinating. Alright. Let me get the silicone rubber I just made out. Okay. Give me lubricant. Give me a power cell. Oh wait. I need two copper ores. Should have known I was forgetting something. Alright, give me two batteries. Give me a power cell. Now I think I just need the two glass, right? Power cell, titanium ingot, lead, lubricant. Yes, two glass. need two quarts for one glass. All right, so I need to go find one more quartz. Then I'll be ready. All right. We're off to find one more quartz, but let's go listen to our radio message first. And probably drink some water while we're at it. site for you that's well it's better than the alternatives we've sent you the coordinates it'll take us a couple of days to align our orbit we should be able to establish direct contact with you during that time then we're coming in to get you oh boy cross your fingers the weather holds don't leave us waiting sunbeam out something tells me this is not going to go well like whatever made us crash is almost certainly going to get the sunbeam too right I don't foresee this going well. Hello, fucker. I just need the quartz. Okay, so now I can make a seam off. Once I get another glass. Excellent. All right. Let me drink a water. Is a fast, 
safe mode of transport, but remember that swimming is good for your glutes and endorphin levels. <laughs> sea moth. All right, the vehicle bay is pretty wild. We got an achievement. Personal propulsion. Oh, hello. Oh, this is the bomb shit. I love this. Okay. Well, this pleases me greatly. And that'll do for a very solid episode of Let's Play Subnautica. Alright, do I even need a sea glide anymore? I mean, it's probably still good to have, right? Okay. But, as I mentioned, I'm gonna go catch some more food and water. Just gotta keep my stocks up on those. And then we're gonna call that an episode. Alright. Very good. Very good. We are in good shape and we are making progress. This has been Let's Play Subnautica. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed the episode, I hope you'll give it a like and consider subscribing to my channel. If you care to discuss this or any of my other content, the best place is my Discord server. I've put a link in the video description that I set to never expire. Discord has a bad habit of expiring my links anyway. If that has happened, feel free to contact me directly and I'll be happy to send you an invite. If you care to support me or the channel, the best way, apart from liking and subscribing, is through my Patreon page. Uh, Patreon supporters get to nominate and vote for the games they want to see me complete on this channel. That's how I came to be playing Subnautica. And when the game is chosen, I play it through start to finish in my very completionist style, including achievements where practical. And when the game is finished, I have my supporters choose another. If getting involved or learning the details of that process is of interest to you, that link is also in the video description. Regardless, I really do want to thank you for watching. I am grateful for your time and attention. I appreciate you very much. I hope you have a fantastic day, and I'll see you soon. Take care. Bye-bye.